Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. Time is but a window, and today we're gonna be doing another Overwatch. Um, that was good timing. Okay, so the suspect's got 18 kills. He just got shot through mid doors, but maybe he was seen slightly above the smoke, or maybe he was the terrorist was just taking a random shot through the smoke, or whatever. Either way, so far we haven't seen anything that shows that the suspect is cheating, though he's doing incredibly well. Well, he's doing good. He's got 18 kills in 20 rounds. This is the 21st round. A little bit of under 1 FPR, but still. If someone's doing this well on your team, you're not going to give them shit for it. Either way, the suspect's going to be sitting here in a smoke on catwalk and just kind of waiting. Looks like Vulture's going to be pushing up. Maybe not. Vulture's a little bit scared of that spot. The suspect, meanwhile, is staring at that wall. I think he's just listening for footsteps. He definitely heard that. He pushes out, and he takes down Vulture. Gonna pick up that AK, and now he can just hold here. Try to pick this guy with the AWP, but no, he's not able to react in time, and he gets taken out himself. It was a good play. He obviously listened for audio cues before peeking out on Catwalk, so nothing too suspicious about that round. Meanwhile, his teammate has got 26 kills. Maybe he's cheating. Maybe Duck's cheating. Maybe he just got reported as well because they were like, you know what, something's fishy here. Let's report these top frags. Suspect's going to make his way towards upper B tunnels, it looks like, for the retake on the B. Hard retake here. It's a 2v... well, it's a 1v4, and all he's got is this MP5. Takes towards back plat, gets taken out immediately. Didn't see anything too suspicious there either. Looks over towards mid after crossing the door so he doesn't get any information. Gonna be making his way over here towards B tunnels, kind of jumping on the double box here and just kind of listening to see if anyone tries to push in. Smoke. Looking at that wall over to the left, Vulture pushes in. That was a little bit suspicious. His movement there was a little bit weird, almost like he knew Vulture was there. Suspect's going to throw a flashbang over here at long, it looks like. But right now, he's just kind of running with his flash out. I feel like he's got a lot of information that they're not here. Meanwhile, at the B site, there seems to be a lot of stuff going on. One guy pushing in. So maybe this is why he's not too concerned. One guy in lower B tunnels. It feels like he knows he's there, and he's actually going to nade stack him. I'm not sure if maybe his teammate had told him there was a guy there. He definitely sees his gun. He's going to drop a flash right in front of him and go in. But there was another guy there holding the angle that's actually going to pick him off. All right, now it looks like he's just going to be sitting here AFK for a moment in spawn. I think he might be toggling something. It's a possibility. Maybe he's just talking to people. Either way, Albatross is able to take down Cat, and the suspect here is going to be making his way over here towards the B site, or one of the terrorists is pushing his way in. Looks like he's looking at the door. It's weird. I mean, it really looks like he knows he's there. He obviously saw his gun and started shooting at him, but he got taken out right there. It's borderline fishy. Borderline wall hacks. Okay, more than borderline. He's, he gave up on trying to hide it. He's like, you know what, we need, we need some help. We only have 14 rounds. And now he's blatantly aiming on people through walls. Look at that. Aiming right on him, right through the wall. It will take him down. One guy drops in a CT spawn. He should be able to, oh, we missed the shot. He's going to pre-aim, but that angle actually favors the person that's in CT spawn. And he's going to get taken out. Going to sit here with the smoke. Wait to cross. He wants to throw the smoke. I'm not sure why at this point. But he's finally going to push up middle. He's got this MP5, and he pushes into lower B tunnels. Rose is actually pushing down on him. He's going to drop a smoke, and it looks like he's going to play that smoke. Because he can see through walls and probably smokes, he just has to sit here and kind of wait. Knows Rose is there over to the left. He's going to drop a nade on him. And tries to shoot him through the double box. What is he thinking? Why didn't he just go wide on that? He can see through smokes. Could have just come out and shot him. Either way, now he's down to 18 HP. And he's still stuck here in lower B tunnels. Getting pinched from both sides. His teammate's going to try to save him, but his teammate gets smoked off. And he goes down. Alright guys, Overwatch resolution time. This should be an easy one. Minor disruption griefing, insufficient evidence there. Move our way up to other external assistance. That one is also insufficient evidence. We didn't see automated jumping strips of some views there. Move our way up to vision assistance. 
throughout this entire game, there were shady moments. And then finally, he was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going all out. And you could see it was evident beyond reasonable doubt. Move our way up to aim assistance. I don't believe he was using any kind of aim assistance. That looked like his natural aiming ability to me. So I'm going to go with insufficient evidence on that. And we're going to move our way to the next case.